All right, I'm going to work on the chest and upper part of the, uh, or the front part of the horse today. Time to play with some clay. Well, I think I can put the two horses back together as soon as I get these two front legs and that chest pretty much done and the uh, neck. And then I can start working on the mane of the horse and then I'm probably going to set this aside because it's I haven't sold any but I've got I got it I want to get it to a point where I can take photographs of it and uh, put it up on my uh gallery online and uh who knows somebody may see it and want to purchase one i got a gentleman locally who's uh building a, a gallery here in annis montana not building he's he's taking a building that was built in the 1860s or 70s I think it's the 60s but I can't be sure anyway um, he's taking it and uh, re, re I don't know, what do you call it uh, repurposing it to become a gallery it's a big building he was putting uh, water lines or some kind of lines power lines i guess um into the building and uh so he was digging a trench in the back of the building and when they were digging the trench he came across a bunch of old whiskey bottles and and uh things like that where i guess a bunch of cowboys had been sitting around a campfire drinking because there was evidence of a fire a campfire and some of the bottles still had uh, alcohol in them from uh, the 1800s which is kind of cool you, you forget that the history that uh, you know you live on when you're out west for instance where i live right here in ennis montana uh, could have very well have been area where Blackfeet or Flathead Indians or Arikara or uh, other tribes would come in the spring and the summer to hunt buffalo because buffalo occupied this land where I live now. And uh, the history, you just can't even imagine what went on before. And... Uh, For instance, just a few miles south of here is a, a big buffalo jump. In fact, when they were making the uh, Return to Lonesome Dove series, they made it in this valley and uh, uh, the character Call 
jumped off a cliff into the Madison or into the river. Well, that cliff that he was running and jumping off of was a buffalo jump just south of here. And if he'd have jumped off that cliff, he'd have landed right where the buffalo landed. And that's uh, not anywhere near the river, which was kind of funny. But only people locally would know that. This uh, town of Ennis was uh, founded by a gentleman who came from back east to bring supplies out to the uh, miners up at uh, Virginia City. They were, you know, gold was discovered up there on the Ruby River in uh, the 1860s. And the way they found the gold was uh, a bunch of gold seekers or prospectors were trying to get away from the Bannock Indians, I think it was. And uh, they camped on the river up a gulch. And, uh, and it was the Ruby River they camped on. This one guy decided to take his pan and see what if there was any color in the river. And they discovered a huge amount of uh, gold in the form of nuggets on that river and uh, if you drive along that river now you can see where they had dredging machines back in the 1800s and early 1900s uh, dredging up the river bottom and uh, to find gold there were thousands of people up there at one time and uh, Whole towns were buried by the uh, dredge as they were dredging the uh, river for gold. If a town got in the way, it just got buried. <laughs> Literally. But uh, a lot of history around here. I've taken the uh, horse off the stand and I'm kind of holding it in my hand and working in areas that are hard to see when it's mounted. And uh, this works out good. Okay, I've laid it down on the uh, foam so I could uh, make a muscle.
I'm basically doing right now is just trying to fill in some of the holes in the clay. Now believe me, the inside part of the bottom hoof or the bottom of the hoof would be filled with mud, dirt, dead grass, matted, but for sculpture's sake, I'm putting a clean hoof. I think what I'll do is I'll put the horses together and do the mane next time. I gotta do the ears and all that stuff yet. But uh, it's getting close. Sorry I couldn't show you everything I did today, but uh, a lot of this is covered on my uh, instructional videos on creating a horse. I've got uh, one, two, I think two videos on that. And uh, one's a couple hours long and the other one's about an hour and a half or hour and 50 minutes long. Or hour and 30 minutes long, or something like that. Anyway, I've got a link in the video description below that uh, will take you to... Uh, a page where I have all nine videos listed and a short review of each one. So you can make your decision whether you want to buy anything or not. They're streaming videos. They're not DVDs. Uh, they're streaming on Vimo online. You don't have to be a member of Vimo to see them. You just need a password that I will give you once you purchase a video. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.